With full respect, I am deeply honored this morning to appear before the distinguished members of the Commission on Appointments for the opportunity to humbly subject myself to the process of confirmation of my ad interim appointment as Secretary of Health. Cognizant of the fact that the power of appointment is vested on the President of the Philippines, I fully recognize the constitutional mandate of the Commission on Appointments to scrutinize appointments in line with the mechanism of checks and balance and good governance of transparency and accountability. I am Pauline Jean Rosel Ubial, a medical doctor. I have served government since the first day I came out of college and internship 28 years ago. It is no secret to my colleagues and friends that I have dedicated my professional career and life to the service of the Filipino people. I have brought immense joy and fulfillment for me, even though it has at times come to a detriment to my family. My commitment to service and excellence has often time taken, taken me away from my loved ones. Despite this, I continue to serve the country because I believe in our vision for a healthier, safer, and happier Philippines. I rose from the ranks because my superiors have consistently and constantly recognized my commitment, dedication, and quest for openly fighting corruption. Along the way, I have gained the respect and approbation of my clients, peers, and bosses, but certainly, I have gained a lot of uh, detractors also. My strict approach to governance has unfortunately earned me some enemies along the way. However, I choose not to let this bother me as I continue to do what I see is right for both the department and the Philippines. The president has appointed me as interim secretary of health and I shall be forever grateful for the trust that he has shown me, despite there being perhaps more equally qualified or viable candidates. When we met in Davao last May 2016, I vowed to implement his marching orders to me. He said, Doctora, galit ako sa droga, galit ako sa korap, and you take care of the poor. I told the president-elect then, yes sir, ako rin po, galit ako sa droga, at galit ako sa korap, and it has been my mission to take care of the poor, which is why I have spent all of my professional life in government and public service. I shall not back down and be disheartened in my commitment to the President and to the Filipino people and my DOH family. He has placed his trust and confidence in me and I will not fail him, nor the Filipino people. Recognizing the importance of shared governance, I firmly be believe that an in-depth coordination with the local government units, the private sector, is imperative. Likewise, as I acknowledge the importance of the legislature, of Congress, for all the legislative measures that concern health, and thank all the members of Congress at this point for passing the mental health law. Mr. Chair, your honors, rest assured that the Department of Health will be an agency that practices full transparency and proficiency. We will accomplish to the best we can to fulfill the department's mandate. Again, I respectfully submit myself and my desire to be confirmed by this honorable body. Thank you very much and God bless us all.